Okay, we are back. So in the previous episode, we introduced this new API. That's the new API we want to replace the result. But if I try to compile this, there is an implementation of the view controller factory that does not implement the new API. Right. We could have an extension here and give it a default implementation and do things step by step. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. But I don't like how long those names are. We can extract that in a type list. Okay. Answers. Okay, so are we happy with this API? Yeah. Yeah, all good. Let's commit here. Okay, introduce the new factory method to create result view controllers. Now, where do we need to implement this next? The router test. Yeah. So why don't we move this logic to the router test? Yeah. Let's do it here. Inside the implementation of the protocol, close to the one we're going to replace, mm -hmm. and delete this extension. Right. Let's see. Yes, perfect. Perfect. Removed default implementation. And Okay, as we can see here in the diagram, the router and the factory are in the same module. Right. And the router is still implementing the deprecated router protocol and still have references to the deprecated result, but the router could implement the quiz delegate instead. Right, so that's the goal. We want to migrate from the deprecated router protocol to the quiz delegate protocol. Okay, router is deprecated, use quiz delegate instead. Yes. Cool. So what would this require us to do? Okay, we need to implement these two methods. If we go step by step and just add the first function, you know, commit that, and after we are done, then we can make the navigation controller router implement this uh, quiz delegate protocol. Let's implement the method first and then the protocol and see what happens. Yeah. We might regret it, but I'm <laughs> keen to try it. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to the test and let's test drive that. So route to question is now answer for question. Right. First, rename the tests. Second, change the implementation of the test to use the new API. Yes. It's the same setup. I just want to invoke a different method. We're not changing behavior. Yes. So answer for a question mm -hmm. with a completion. The same here. Answer for a question and a completion. Yeah. Okay, we already have some build errors. Let's go to the implementation and let's add this new method. Answer for question completion. Like this. That's it. Okay, the compiler cannot understand this question type. Let's just give it some more context. It's the quiz engine question. Okay, we compiled, but as expected, the test fails. Very nice. Okay, copy and paste this here. That's it. This is a, a just a rename. We, we're not changing any behavior, basically. Why don't we just invoke this method then? Yeah. Question, and we we'll pass the answer callback here. Exactly. So if you do this, we can just start renaming the tests one by one instead of yeah. doing the behavior one by one. Okay, that would be much faster and safe at the same time yeah. because we're still forwarding the message here. Yeah. Let's see if it passes the test now. It does. Very nice. Okay, I'm right. glad to go ahead. So answer for question with a completion. Answer for question. Mm -hmm. The same in here. Answer for question. Answer for question with a completion block. So we are asking for an answer. Yeah. Same. Answer for question. Answer completion. Okay. Again. Answer for question. Answer. For question, 
completion. Answer for a question. Answer for question with a completion. Fantastic. And now we only have the results test here. Right. Okay, the test is passing. Let's search for route two. And we only have the result ones. Okay. So I am happy to commit this. Implemented the answer for question method in preparation for removing the router protocol implementation. Yeah. Now, what should we do with those tests? They use results. We still need the user answers, but instead of a dictionary, it should be an array now. Right. Instead of passing a result type, yeah. we need to pass user answers. We don't need a result anymore. We don't need a score. And we make this into an array of tuples. And the same here. So why don't we call these user answers? Mm -hmm. This is the second user answers. User answers. And now we can use the new method that is did complete with answers. With answers. And did complete with answers, second user answers. Let's implement the stub method in the factory. Yes, let's have a look if we can do that first. Yeah. User answers. And this is answers. There is an array of tuples. Right. And the way we stub it, we add it to a dictionary. Mm. Tuples are not hashable, so they cannot be the key to a dictionary. Yeah. Okay. Do we need to pass a tuple or can we use just the question? Stub result for questions. Right. And we pass an array of questions and the question is a hashable type. Right. So this is basically just uh, some sort of an identifier there. Yes. I think there is an extra bracket. Okay. Now the deprecated method result view controller for result should just return a view controller because we don't want to use this method anymore. Yeah. But the new one should now return the stubbed one. Right. We need to map the user answers. Okay, because we care only about the question. Exactly. Okay. We need to now update our test. Stub result for questions. And now it's an array of questions. First one is the single answer question. This one needs to be different. It's a multiple answer question. Right. And we can change this here. Yeah. So they are different. And this is now result for questions as well. Okay, now we just need to implement the did complete. Beautiful. So let's have a look at the navigation controller router. And we have the method did complete with answers. And this is an array of tuples. So let's just copy this. Right. And the question is question string. The answer is array of string. Now we can use this new method that is in our factory protocol. Yeah, that should do it. Oh, looks like we have a, a matching type. Let's have a look at the view factory protocol. Aha, uh -huh. the answers is an array of tuples with the names question and answers, plural. But this one is answer. So we have a mismatch here we're going to have to fix. Fix tuple names mismatch. Let's see if this is going to pass the tests. Let's give it more type information here. Looks like we still have an issue. Oh, it's did complete quiz. Okay. Quiz. Quiz. This should pass. It does. Let's commit. Okay, so implemented the 
did complete quiz method in preparation to replace the deprecated router implementation. And this tomato is finished. Yeah. We should address this type information. So I'm going to add it to the list. Fix the quiz engine requirements. And for the next episode, well, we need to replace the router with a quiz delegate. That's it. Okay. See you next time. Bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.